Well, happy holidays, everybody. As you can see, it's Christmas time here in the lab. Um, our next repair, hopefully, is going to be a short one, um, and it's related to this. This is actually a new ThinkPad uh, W520 that I got for work. Uh, this thing is amazing. I absolutely love this thing. Extra wide screen, uh, blazingly fast. It does everything that I want to do and more. Absolutely love it. The only problem I have with it is the sound. And so if I go ahead and play, uh, you know, something here on the computer, this is a video that I've made previously for a repair. You fast forward to where I'm actually doing something interesting like talking about things. Turning the volume up here, absolutely nothing. Now I do occasionally hear a click and a pop, but that's about it. Um, not even diving into this too much, uh, the first thing I noticed when I got this laptop was these massive speakers here on both ends. Uh, and they sounded beautiful, I should state, actually, before even continuing that. When I got this thing, it sounded uh, incredible, and it played great, and you know everything worked fine. <clears throat> and then all of a sudden, the speakers went out. Um, but looking at the location of these speakers, I've had plenty of ThinkPads in the past, and often I'll see them kind of in this area here. I've actually seen them kind of tucked in down here. I've seen them sometimes kind of uh, up in this area, or um, sometimes like down here in the much older ones. But I've never seen them right here. And what do we see as I glance over here? This massive heat, uh, what is this? Well, it's a massive vent and there's a fan. I can feel it blowing hot air. And this video VGA port. So that tells me, like every other ThinkPad design I've ever seen, that the video card is right in this area. So it looks to me like they took the speaker and they mounted it right on top of the video card. Now, like I said, this thing is blowing out uh, very warm air. Uh, video cards, you know, get get extremely hot, and uh, and every ThinkPad I've ever worked on, there's this massive heat heat sink structure, you know, to kind of get rid of that heat. And so, why did they decide to mount it there? I have no idea. Uh, but I suspect that the wires to the speaker uh, probably shorted to the heat sink. Um, if they just laid them right on top or whatever, and it got hot enough, it could potentially melt and just short the thing out. So I'm suspecting that what it that's what it is. Uh, I'm going to just pop the cover here and hopefully find out real quick if that's the case. If it is, then it might be just a matter of, uh, you know, putting some heat shrink tubing over that, reconnecting the wire. I imagine the insulation is probably shot or something like that. It's probably, probably uh, melted and shorted out. So, But anyway, let's pop the cover off this thing. Let's take a look at what we have and see if we can get the sound going. All right, I pulled the screws out from underneath so I can lift this out of here. Um... I'm just going to set it aside from now. And yeah, as you can see, this is the massive fan. Actually, the, the GPU, I think, is right underneath this guy here, this big block of aluminum. And then there's a copper tubing that runs in to direct the heat into this fan, which spins and shoots it out there. However, that big copper tubing goes right underneath the speaker. I can't see underneath it yet. I'm going to have to pull the rest of this frame off. But it looks like uh, I'm on the right track here. I'm pretty sure that those speaker wires are probably resting right on top of this big piece of copper tubing here. So let's pull this guy off next. Alright, let's pull this guy off. I got it all disconnected here. I'll put it to the side. <clears throat> exactly. So here's the speakers. You can see one's down over here and one's uh, up over there. This guy, they actually taped it right to the copper coil here. Now, I don't know if I can tell just by looking at it. Let me see if I can pull off uh, this tape here, this thermal tape, man, they just, they just taped it right to the coil, huh? And let me see if I can spin it around and see. Well, there's no signs of melting there, but you can see too, they actually crimp it with this little clip before it goes over. So, I mean, it's touching it in tons of different spots. So I wonder if it's just, looks like there's so much pressure. If I pull on this, it's kinked right there. And it's coupled into this little clip. So let me work on this a little bit. See if I can pull that. I'm going to need two hands to do that. Slide this out of here. And then take a look and see if it's uh, if it's melted or shorted out over there. Alright, so I, I stuck on my little macro lens. Let me zoom in and see if you can see what I see. See that right there? That I believe was the problem. And there's a, an equivalent problem. Uh, let me keep this right focused right underneath here on the back side it looks just like that but on the blue and so for whatever reason these geniuses decided to take all the cables now these are the cables for the Wi-Fi 
and this is the speaker cable here. So this is Wi-Fi, this is speaker. And they put them in this clip, which again is connected to this, you know, this massive copper coil, and then they pinched it down and crimped it. What I did notice is if we follow the speaker wire, and it goes around there, I'm trying to make sure that I don't block the light. When it gets over here, where there's aluminum, I'm kind of out of focus. i got to find my place here. Here we go. All of a sudden, they decided to put heat shrink tubing on it. Isn't that interesting? But they left it out in the most critical spot, which is over in this area here, where it's just all over this. So I am going to, uh, I think what I'm going to do, it doesn't look like, you know, the blue and the white are touching. So I think what I'm going to do is desolder this speaker, slide heat shrink tubing all the way down so it covers not just this area, but every spot, you know, one large piece to cover this entire area where it's covering the copper or it's laying on the copper rather, and then I'll solder the speaker back on and then put it all back together again. So I believe that'll take care of it. Again, just very poor, poor design. Well, here's the speaker. Unfortunately, there's no way to unsolder it from this. And so what I think I'm going to have to do is... Uh, actually, let me get my little clippy on here. So you can see this connector. There we go. So the blue and the white go to the speaker in question, which is the left speaker, and the black and the red go to the right speaker. So I think I'm just going to use a pin and slide the pins out for the blue and the white, and then that'll allow me to slide the heat shrink tubing all the way up to where I need to go, and then I can just reinsert the pins when I'm done. Alrighty, well, I was unable to pull those pins out, and I was really afraid of breaking that connector, so I decided to take a different approach. I simply laid down some uh, electrical, electrical tape. This is, I believe this is like higher temp electrical tape. Uh, not that it needs to be, I don't really think it needs to be. Uh, but I just laid a path, you know, this way and this way where the this would be resting. And in the one area where it's under that, that the copper clip, um, where I know there is a pinch point and I know that the insulation was pinched off of the wire, I actually wrapped the wire in electrical tape. And again, the white and the blue were not touching, so I didn't have to separate those wires and, you know, uh, protect them individually. I can just wrap the thing up because the blue wire was completely intact um, for the most part. So I think that'll do it. I'll go ahead and start stitching it back up. And um, actually, before I do that, I'll probably just plug the keyboard in um, and then boot it to make sure the sound works before I go ahead and put everything back on because I don't want to have to do it twice. So, Well, as you can see, we got audio. Just turn up a little bit here. Seems to be working pretty good. And uh, yeah, that's all it was, is it shortened that area. So if you guys, you fellow uh, Lenovo ThinkPad W520 owners, if you have audio problems, chances are it's something right in that section there. So, alrighty, that's it for me. You gotta get back to work. Thanks for watching, and uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.